The History and Origin of Morgan White Hackle Colonel William L. Morgan of East Oran, N.J., bred and perfected this strain of game fowl and it takes its name from him. As the Morgan fowl are practically pure Gilkerson North Britons, it is necessary to go somewhat into the history of that strain. About 1858, George Gilkerson, an English farmer living in Cortland County, New York, imported some fowl from Cumberland, England. From a man named Lawman a relative of Billy Lawman of New York State. In this country there were known as North Britons and later known as Gilkerson Whitehackles. North Britons contained Duckwingred, Brownred and Pyle. On and before his death Gilkerson backquote's death many of his fowl came to Colonel Morgan. Among these fowl was a little imported Scottish hen, which Gilkerson prized most highly. Colonel Morgan bred this hen with the old Gilkerson fowl in her blood as in all his fowl. Morgan did not know the history of this hen but expressed the opinion that she was nothing more or less than a lawman hen. That had been bred across the border in Scotland. All her stags looked and acted just like the Gilkerson fowl. The Morgan Whitehackles became famous than the Gilkerson fowl had ever been. He whipped Carney, the Eslins, Mahoney and many of a less note in many mains in the Pennsylvania coal mining district. No man has ever approached this record in short heels, and the backbone of all these mains was pure Morgan White Hackles. Colonel Morgan never made but two permanent outcrosses in the straight strain. Morgan got a ginger hen from Perry Baldwin, and put her on the yard of Sunny Stone of Newark. He had stone bred her, her granddaughters and great granddaughters under Morgan Cox. The resulting progeny had the bloody heel and fighting quality of the pure Morgans and still retained some of the excessive courage of the ginger, Newbold fowl. Morgan finally took a 15 16 Morgan and a 16 ginger, Newbold hen from Stone and bred her on his own yard. That is the blood in all Morgan fowl. About the beginning of the century John Hoy of Albany obtained possession of the fowl of Billy Lawman. Morgan and Hoy exchanged brood fowl freely and as the fowl were identical in general makeup and characteristics. The offspring bred on as the pure strain. Morgan bred the Lawman cock when reduced to one quarter in his favorite pens. At the time of his death there was a small percentage of this blood in most of his fowl. In the early 90s Morgan have a small pen of his fowl to a call in Virginia. The call inbreed the fowl and on his death, they fell into the hands of a professor at Georgetown University, who knew nothing about breeding or cock fighting. He kept the family pure breeding his favorite cock to the whole flock on hens. When he died the fowl were still inbred in NJ. Neither the family Morgan bred or the family that had been inbred had changed appearance or quality in 25 years. Although kept absolutely apart, bred together the young cannot be told from the parents on either side. Except that they are larger and stronger than the offshoot family. Disclaimer. No copyright infringement intended. All music, picture and videos inserted belongs to the rightful owner. For educational documentary and entertainment purpose only.